All right, I want to show you how you should use Markdown in your AI prompts a little bit. So you're going to see me like click in here and I'm going to show you where Markdown is. So like you see these hashes here, alignment score overview. So basically what's going on is that like underneath AI, when you send a prompt to an AI model, a prompt is basically the question you ask of an AI model. The AI is going to, well, the model needs not only plain text, it actually needs ones and zeros. So basically what's gonna happen is they're gonna turn the text you sent into the model, into ones and zeros, and then that's gonna enable the model to give you a result that it predicts it thinks you want. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you can't format anything. It means that like you can't have obviously like a title that's bigger or a subtitle. And that can be a problem because if you want to give the AI information or you want the AI to create something that's structured, like where there's a title or there's sections or anything like that, then you can't do that unless you have a plain text formatting tool. And that's what Markdown is. It's a way of formatting with plain text. So the most important one for you to know are these hashes. So like this single hash here that I'm covering with my cursor, that means the biggest title basically. And you, if you've ever done HTML development, it's like H1, header one, right? Two hashes means header two, so it's like a subtitle. And then down here, three hashes is like header three, so it's like a sub subtitle. So this can be important when you're giving information to an AI model because it enables you to say, hey, here are different sections, here's different parts of the information that I want you to have, rather than relying on the AI to guess how something is formatted. So like if you wanted to use, let's say, some research when you are asking AI to generate something for you, you might want to put the title of the research, format it where that has the single hash, and then each subtitle with the double hash, and then put the body there. So like that will give the AI model the structure so that it understands how this article is organized. Also, when you have the, e the AI generate what you want it to generate for you. I like to use this structure a lot. You see how I, you see here how I say, I want you to consider blah, blah, and fill out the following form. So basically I'm saying, here's a form for you to fill out. And I'm using the hashes so that it fills out the form in a formatted way for me. So when I get the result, it's in the format that I'm looking for. So that's the very basics of Markdown with AI and prompt engineering. Follow this account if you want more stuff like this, because I'm going to keep talking about prompt engineering and AI and how you can basically save time and do more with AI.